it is this time of year when, despite our battles during the year, a feeling of good cheer assails us. It is a time when we, at least for now, shelve the difficulties that life may unfortunately confront us with. For none of us, life is not a bed of roses. Being involved in the governance of this country carries with it a tremendous responsibility, one in which you are tasked with doing as much as you can within the limitations that confront us. The inadequacy of resources especially to attempt to bring whatever degree of satisfaction you can to those you represent. This is a task that no one can readily discharge. But we as a government are trying. At this time, in the words of Martin Luther King, we need leaders who are not in love with money, but in love with justice. Who are not in love with publicity, but in love with humanity. Personally, my best may not be good enough, but I am doing my best. I am guided by the biblical stipulations uttered by our good Lord who said, Whatsoever you do to the list of my brothers, so you do unto me. In that regard, I always remember that others help me to be whatever God has made of me today. I shall never, and I urge you not to forget as well, the dispossessed, the less fortunate, the poorer ones among us, the sick, the shut in, and those whom, for whatever reason, are unable to fend for themselves. Let us share the little we have with those who don't, as we must realize that whatever we have was given to us by the Almighty Father. As we embark on this festive season, let us each be each other's keeper. Let's search and permit peace to prevail within ourselves, within our consciences, and whilst we interact with others. I want to take this opportunity to wish the Honorable Prime Minister, my cabinet colleagues, residents of Castries Central, and each and every St. Lucian, a very Merry Christmas and God's richest blessings in 2023. Au bon Noël, et au l'année 2023 qui plaît la grâce de Dieu. Merci.